Hello, I just wanted to say hi here from the studio floor because the lighting is very pretty here so I thought this would be a good idea. Uh, I just wanted to say a quick hello and um, introduce you to this week's video. Today I have, guess what, <laughs> one more experiment. I have decided to push my uh, painting skills uh, a little more. Um, so this, uh, for today, I have a video where I try to paint more uh, abstract and even more loose than the, the work that you have seen until now. So let's just jump into it. The idea that I have is to take one reference image and produce four small paintings and um, more loose and expressive as much as I can to see what comes out of that. And my first thought was to do it here on the table like this. I have covered my table. Poor is suffering a lot from the new materials that I'm using, so I have covered it with paper. But I think that I will put these papers on a board and paint them on a small easel so I can work more loose and maybe stand up. Last time you saw me painting this one, I was painting on this easel, but the lighting is too bad here, so I think I will use this table from now on to paint also with oils. And by the way, these two paintings, or four paintings, if I can manage to do so many, I will do them with acrylics and have already set them up here and there. So, and that is the little easel that can go on the table. So I will put my papers on a board and Take it from there. So let's see what, what I can come up with. Um, yeah, cross fingers. <laughs> so I'm hand holding my camera now. Light is pretty bad, but <laughs> that is, it's what it is. I, I have um, set up the small easel that I was talking about. I have taped the papers into a board and it's a little bit too big to for this easel, so I have put um, <laughs> some rice bags to holes to get to have some weight, and also here in the back. Very professional. What do you think? <laughs> the first thing that I did was to find one image to use as a reference. And when I found something uh, interesting, I started painting. So what you see me doing now is working with a really thin layer of acrylic paint. And to do something totally different, I used pink, as you can see, for the sky. Maybe you remember from one of my older videos that I started up with a pinky sky because I wanted to try that. That didn't turn out well, but um, I wanted to give it a try again. So I am laying some very thin layers now of yellow ochre. So as I mentioned before, I wanted to do the same landscape in two different papers. So I could try different things out and this is also good so while one is drying I can work on the other one and don't get stuck and have to wait so much for things to dry. After I had the first layer on the paper I started putting some dark color in the background describing some uh, trees in the horizon and I'm just putting different variations of dark color some more bluish and some more in the brown scale uh, trying to define where my darkest darks will go as always and yeah just going with the flow <laughs> as I think I 
we'll say later in the video. I'm also trying to integrate some magenta into the landscape itself so it can balance the color of the sky and as you may see I am all, all the time putting some color and then taking some off with a piece of paper I am treating this a little bit like watercolors so I'm trying to keep the very light washes of uh, color so the white paper is still visible underneath, at least in some places. So as you can tell, this is totally new for me. Um, as I change the color of the sky, everything else has to change as well. So I also change the colors from the, the landscape and I ha have to continuously think about how to describe the landscape from the reference image with my own colors. So this is how far I got uh, right now. This is really, really fun to do. I have no idea, absolutely no idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow, following my intuition, seeing what work, what I like, what I don't. So I don't know, have any idea if I will keep it like this. Of course, both pieces need more work. But this is so different from everything I have done ever. So it's very interesting. Yeah. It's the same landscape that I am using as reference, but I am trying two different ways of saying it. So... So here's the first one of the two pieces that you saw me painting. It ended up looking like this. It's quite different from what I usually do. And then I continue putting more details here in 
landscape so yeah this is how it looks and the other one that you saw me painting it's here this is the one that was in the bottom of the board that I on that I was uh, painting on at the moment I like much more this guy I only put a little bit of yellow I think and then a little bit of white here for some clouds then I painted the foreground here after I filmed the footage next day I actually corrected some things here in this one I didn't like the shadows that I had done here this road was too white so I went over with a little bit of darker paint and of course I signed them too so yeah these are the two Um, uh, I don't know what to say about them. I don't know if I like them or not. Is it so different from what I usually do? Um, I like, right now I like more this sky uh, and not so much this one. But who knows, maybe uh, when I go back to these ones uh, I will like it more I don't know so you are one of the first ones that sees this <laughs> so when I finished them I showed them to my husband and asked him what he thought and the first thing he said oh they are different uh, so then I asked do you like him yeah and yeah I think he was being kind <laughs> uh, yeah so I don't know let me let me know what you think about these two if you like this one or more this one or you think it's a total disaster for now i will leave them aside and go, go back to them later and see what i think about them there and after these two i manage next day or next day again to do one more are you prepared <laughs> this one it's another line landscape from another reference image and i just wanted to paint this as as I didn't care, just put paint on and yeah, I don't know. I don't like this one right now, but, but it was fun to do and it's, I think it's a really, really good exercise to loosen up your painting style and to discover new things, new ways of working. And I'm sure even I don't like this, at least at the moment, um, this will improve uh, the way I paint in the future and also after I painted this I showed it to my husband and he didn't say anything so <laughs> um, yeah um, I know that some things for some people are different people have different um, like different things so just because he don't like it doesn't mean that they are bad but yeah I have to, I have to give it some time and I also have to practice more if I want to paint more in this way. So um, I just try to, you know, some, as an artist or a creator you have so many ideas and so many things you want to try and I have so many ideas and things I would like to do and this could be fun and what happened if I do this and that and I never do it. That is too bad because the best way, at least for me, to improve is to just try all these things. Even the most, I don't know how to say, write the word down. Those I think are the things that push you the furthest and maybe I have done something that is not quite my style, at, at least not yet. Uh, it's not the thing that I'm used to do, but it will feed all the other things that I do, hopefully. And yeah, that is the way to go, I think. But now I think I have experimented a lot. I will continue experimenting and I will show you if uh, I can manage to film that same way as I have done until now. But now I have to start getting more serious too because um, I'm, I'm a month or so a lady approached me to see if I wanted to make an um, exhibition. And I of course said yes please. <laughs> uh, so she came here and saw all the things that I have. 
she wanted to make sure that I had enough to fill this uh, place, which is uh, annexed to our local church. So it's quite big. I would love to take some more new things with me so people can see where I come from and where I am right now. So I am pretty busy, uh, but I would still try to make uh, these videos and so you, you will still hear some from, something uh, from me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. Mm. Maybe it can inspire you to just take those brushes and try to do your own marks and explore things. What you see here is as close as I could get at uh, painting a more abstract landscape. I know I am far away from being a abstract landscape painter but it was a fun little project and it have certainly inspired me to try out more things as soon as I have more time for this. I also want to say thank you for all the likes and the, my new subscribers and the coffees or should I say matches and um, remember if you want to support me i have all the links down below you can give me a like you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that, that already you can buy me a coffee or matcha tea and support me that way or you can buy something from my shops and i hope you are doing well and i will see you in the next one bye bye